Hello again and welcome to the final video in this series. This is Jeff Hendrickson at Laughing Raven Studio. And we're just we're going to go over some tool techniques here. Uh, we've run through making this jacket. We started off with a very basic flat. We ended up with lots of great detail lines. We went through uh, a lot of different ways to, to create these flats and why you have things on here the way you do and how great these things are really seriously to use with um, with manufacturing facilities. Uh, as I said back at the beginning of this, um, started making these and using these in China and the factory directors really like these. They really liked the fact that this was a great visual tool they could look at quickly without having to go through sometimes pages and pages and pages of a tech pack. They could just see right up front what was supposed to be going on with this jacket and it was easier for them to use with their line managers. Okay. So uh, for this video, we're going to go over some tool techniques that are very important uh, in using Illustrator efficiently for doing these. First is going to be the direct selection tool. Sorry, I needed to click and get those things in there. Your direct select, as we talked about a while ago, is, is this guy right here. Okay, that's your direct select tool. First off, though, we're going to start with a couple of other things. Well, at any rate, here is your selection tool. Okay, then we're going to talk about pen tool, add anchor tool. These are these. It's your pen tool. There's your add anchor point tool. This is your delete anchor point tool. And this guy right here is your convert anchor point tool. And uh, I'm going to go through these really quickly so you can see how to use these. Okay, you start off by drawing a line with your pen tool. And I'm just going to zoom in here a little bit because we're actually just going to work right here on creating these, this one particular line here again. So we're going to start here. Okay. Now you see that that selected that. Essentially, what this says is that you're going to start with this endpoint and you're going to run this thing out. Okay. We're going to come straight down with it. And there we have it. Okay. Now there are other things you can do here. You can take the add anchor point tool. And you can actually put a new anchor point on there that you can then take your direct selection tool. You click off, come back in here, you can take and you can move that. So you can do something like that with it. Now from there, if you take this tool, your convert anchor point tool, you can actually turn this into a curve. See how we're doing that? Okay. And I think you can see the possibilities of doing this if we use our option. We can just do one or the other. We click back on this again with our direct select tool to get both of our points. We hold option and we can just move. Whoops, didn't do that. Sorry about that. It's because I'm on the wrong one. I need to get on that guy. I can then just move this. As soon as you do the thing we did a while ago with the um, convert anchor point tool, it turns this into two separate paths. So let's back up on all this for just a second. We'll get back down to there. We're actually going to take that out. Okay. If we use our convert anchor point tool on the very end here, we can now take this and we can add the little bit that we need. And notice that the farther out that we pull this thing, the you see as our control points start to go apart, we start working on a different part of the curve. As we keep it small, we're just working on this end. As we pull it out, we're working up towards the opposite end of it. Okay, that's how you can start working with that. If we go back to our direct select tool again, click on this guy, we can then move this end point anywhere we want it. Okay. Anytime you click on this with the selection tool, you, you don't have the option of just grabbing an end like that. You grab the entire thing. Okay. Use the direct select tool. You click when you get the big white box and then you can move that point anywhere. Okay. So that's our series. I'm out of time. I'm down to one minute left on this. Once again, thank you very much for being with me on this. I hope you've learned something. Uh, ping me with some questions on the blog if you'd like. If there's anything else you think you'd like to learn or see, let me know. Uh, this is the first in a series. I will be putting some more things up. So stay tuned. I'll be seeing you. Be happy designers. Bye, all.